on device research, we're on a mission to make brand impact measurement accessible to all and help provide clients with insights to improve their future campaigns. As a result, today we're launching a series of videos called Back to School with on-device research. The aim of these videos is to help explore in more detail exactly what brand measurement studies are, how they work, what metrics are collected, and more importantly, how you use the findings to help improve your campaigns. So today I'm joined by Alistair Hill, CEO and co-founder of OnDevice Research, who will be here to explain in more detail exactly why we should be doing brand measurement studies, or perhaps put more simply, what's the point? So advertisers and marketers have often known there should be a good mix between performance advertising and brand and advertising. Vanessa and Field have said that this should, should be 60-40 in favour of brand advertising. So marketers need a tool to be able to understand how they measure uh, the 60% of their advertising spend that they put into brand advertising and they really need this measurement as a campaign level to be able to provide actionable insights um, from, that, from that insight. So how do you successfully measure different aspects of campaigns and how do they fit more widely into the measurement toolkit? So the IOB have got this fantastic chart which really maps this all out. What it shows is that um, econometric modelling is used to be able to understand the long-term impact of sales uh, and they link that sales impact versus um, advertising or marketing spend. Uh, it shows that, that attribution modelling or attribution software is used to be able to understand the short-term impact of an ad unit versus an actual sale, often providing very quick insights into whether that ad has actually delivered that sale, download, view, that sort of thing. At the longer term brand metrics, um, uh, what's not shown on the chart is that advertisers um, uh, nearly always use a brand tracker. And a brand tracker is a way to understand how brand metrics are moving at a total level against the total population over time. Um, whereas brand studies um, are used at a more tactical level to understand how these brand metrics are moving um, at a campaign level. So can you explain in a bit more detail of exactly what brand trackers are? Yeah, so as I mentioned, brand trackers are looking at the long-term health of a brand. And what they do is they measure um, metrics such as awareness, consideration, purchase intention for a brand, um, uh, and show that um, over a period of time, normally over a year or even multiple years. Uh, and this helps a brand to understand how their advertising investment is impacting those. Um, and so, yeah, they, they are often incredibly powerful um, for clients, but they do take a little while for that data to come through. Uh, and it's often a little bit challenging to be able to split that data in ways that it becomes actionable. Okay, so that's really interesting, but what's the difference between a brand tracker and a brand impact study? So um, a, a brand tracker, I said, looks at a total level, whereas a brand impact study actually looks at a campaign level. Uh, and so a brand impact study um, helps to answer questions around, did the campaign impact um, awareness, consideration, purchase intention, but also enables a client to be able to understand that at an individual uh, ad unit level, which enables you to understand things such as, um, did this creative impact it more than that creative? Did media partner A work harder than media partner B? Uh, did this certain ad format work the best? Or even how much attention is needed for an ad to, to really have an impact at moving one of these brand metrics? It's important to um, mention that um, these metrics should not be confused with delivery metrics. So delivery metrics such as impressions, views, clicks, these sorts of things are, are metrics which don't um, impact effectiveness. Sure, a campaign has to be delivered um, for it to be effective, but equally it can be delivered and it can be not effective as well. So that's a really insightful overview. So perhaps now you can just summarise for us all of the key ways in which an advertiser can measure the success of their campaign. So as a summary, econometric modelling is used to be able to understand the long-term impact of advertising on sales, often delivered over months uh, 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 and years. Attribution modelling uh, is used to be able to understand the short-term impact of advertising on sales, often delivered after days and sometimes even hours. Um, after that, there is brand trackers, which are used to understand the long-term health of a brand at uh, a total um, level over a longer period of time. Uh, and then there's the brand studies, which I mentioned, which are used to understand at a campaign level how these brand metrics are moving uh, and are used to provide actionable insights that helps clients really understand how they can improve their advertising in the future. Thank you for that really valuable overview. Perfect. Over the series of videos that we'll be launching, we'll be exploring some of these topics in more detail 
such as what brand measurement studies are and how they work, what metrics are collected, and how we can use them to ensure successful advertising campaigns. If you have any further queries, then please do reach out and contact us at ondeviceresearch.com.